This is Rene Murub. She and the other four siblings live here with their mother, a sergeant with the family and sexual violence unit. She has been living in the barracks since she was a little girl. Their house has had no electricity connection for as far back as she can remember. Three months ago, their mother engaged an electrician to fix the problem. The contractor didn't complete the job. The families have been using power from the single quarters. Each household contributes to paying the ECPay bill for the single quarters when the power runs out. It's dangerous practice and the electricity is not enough to power electrical appliances. Electrical appliances and current and channel. So one plus tap go kind of 10 o'clock night number now. Power is a full speed. On Monday, when Police Commissioner Gary Bucky came to lay, we asked him about the difficulties faced by the policemen and women. He said this is an ongoing issue, also affecting other police barracks across the country. It's a difficult situation for our men and women, that they're living in condemned barracks, but the organization is equally responsible, and I think it's our, it's our responsibility to ensure that we'll try as much as possible to support them in one way or the other to ensure that they don't get further you know, disadvantaged by the situation that's been created. Every year, new recruits are coming out of Bomana Police College with the aim of increasing the current police strength from 6,000 to 10,000 by 2018. As the government talks about increasing manpower within the constabulary, it still needs to solve the accommodation problems faced by officers. The police department has not received any funding for housing and accommodation. Any funding received is for the law and justice sector program. As a result, police continue to use the same buildings and other infrastructure that were built by the colonial administration in the 1950s and 1960s. Mata Luis, National MTV News, Lei.